EV Comply, simplifying your charge point installations. Hello, Friday the 1st of October, a brand new month and your latest EV news brought to you courtesy of EV Comply. So, what a week it has been. No doubt I have some smug EV owners listening to the podcast today who weren't affected at all by the fuel crisis. Now, it's made a lot of people consider electric vehicles, which is fantastic for moving things along. Auto Trader Group said inquiries about EVs this month were nearly doubled compared to those of August. Britain's fuel crisis has intensified interest in electric vehicles based on the record level of inquiries online. Dealers received direct inquiries for EVs every 1.8 minutes this past weekend, so that's almost twice the average pace from August. Total EV queries jumped 36% from the weekend before. Now, views of advertisements for new and used EVs rose by 28% and 61%. The spike suggests that people are not simply flirting with the idea of electric, but have been encouraged to actively pursue or purchase, said Ian Plummer, who is Auto Trader's commercial director. So you'll probably know that many EV stocks have seen their stock prices struggle as of late. Investing in the EV industry and the stock market today can often be a challenging task. The EV space appears to be getting more crowded as the days go by. Therefore, looking for the best EV stocks to buy requires more research and hard work. Now, apparently, these are the top three stocks to watch right now. You've got Lucid Group, Fisker and Neo. Now, electric vehicle maker Lucid Group on Tuesday showed off their first EV cars rolling off the production line and said they will be delivering them to customers starting late next month. Due to this, the uh, company's shares rose more than 7.5% in extended trading after the news was released. In other news, the ABB has launched their Terra 360, a 360 kilowatt electric EV charger. The company claims the new device is the world's fastest electric car charger. It can deliver 62 miles of range in less than three minutes and can charge up to four vehicles at once. Available in Europe from the end of 2021, ABB says the Terra 360 is designed with the daily needs and expectations of EV drivers in mind. This is an interesting one, the Citroen Skate. It is a self-driving EV platform onto which can be attached a range of pods suitable for transporting people, goods and services around the city. It's an autonomous EV platform which has been designed to serve various purposes simply by changing the pod on top. This means that the same platform could transport passengers around the city in the morning with a specially designed windowed pod before running a shipment of goods to a local shop in the afternoon by swapping to a sealed cargo carrying pod. The designers say this approach could be the breakthrough which makes autonomous driving technology profitable. Rather than fitting the tech to conventional passenger cars, which the firm says spend 95% of their time stationary, the skate can be made to work all the time across a variety of transport sectors, helping to quickly offset the cost of development. In other news this week, Rolls-Royce's CEO, Torsten Müller, says the shift to electric cars is the most significant moment in the company's history since it was founded. Electric drive is uniquely and perfectly suited to Rolls-Royce motor cars, more so than any other automotive brand, he said. It's silent, refined and creates torque almost instantly, going on the generated tremendous power. The Spectre will be the first and finest super luxury product of its type. Now, the two-door car will be built on the same aluminium architecture that currently underpins all the company's models and, unsurprisingly, looks absolutely beautiful. If you're an EV owner, then this might be of interest. A heat pump is apparently needed. Now, it's more or less exactly what it sounds like. It's a pump that takes warm air or liquid from a source and then increases the temperature by compressing it. The increased temperature air or liquid can then be circulated around something that you're sitting in, be it a car or your house. You know, basically, it's like the compressor on your fridge, but working in reverse. Now, why you should care is because having a heat pump heating system 
can help to significantly extend the one charge driving range of your electric car when the weather turns chilly definitely needed here in the uk according to martin dunn peugeot island's technical guru Peugeot has opted for what is called a dual indirect heat pump. Indirect because the heat pump heats a water circuit that will then pass through the air heater. Double because the system uses a second water circuit. It's the reverse to our household refrigerator as just mentioned. With a fridge we take the heat out from the inside and release it to the outside. But with a heat pump the heat is taken from the cooling of the battery and drivetrain and then fed inside the vehicle either way it's something that's needed and as i'm sure you will agree anything that can possibly remove range anxiety is a must controversially announced this week the uk proposes a law to switch off ev home chargers during peak hours to avoid a blackout. Now, going into effect next year, the new law aims to protect the grid from excessive strain. It won't apply to public charges, though. As of May 30, 2022, new home and workplace charges being installed must be smart charges connected to the internet and able to employ presets limiting their ability to function from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. However, users of home chargers will be able to override the presets should they need to, although it's not clear how often they will be able to do that. In addition to the nine hours a day of downtime, authorities will be able to impose a randomized delay of 30 minutes to individual chargers in certain areas to prevent grid spikes at other times. Now, we did ask you on all our social media platforms what you thought about this. Uh, the general feedback wasn't great and uh, argued often was where do we draw the line with this then? They should be turning off TVs, hot tubs and things like that, which, you know, we possibly agree with. Elon Musk bringing the drama to the EV sector yet again. He has criticised President Joe Biden, saying he is not the friendliest. Now, after the White House snubbed his company last month, Musk's comments came during a code conference interview and followed a tweet in which the Tesla CEO mocked Biden using similar insults as former President Donald Trump. <laughs> so the uh, Biden administration invited auto executives to the White House last month to discuss the shared goal of increasing the production of electric vehicles. Now, top officials from Ford were there, General Motors, Stellantis, they were all invited, but Tesla which, to be fair, is the largest EV maker in the world, was not. And some would say rightfully so. Elon Musk has taken this personal, and he does continue to have a little bit of a war going on with Joe Biden, so watch this space. See what I did there? That wasn't even intentional. Elon Musk, space? Ah, <laughs> I'm here all week. And finally, motorway service stations could be forced to end exclusive arrangements with charge point operators under new rules being considered by the government, of which I touched upon earlier on in the podcast today. Now, currently, the majority of motorway service areas in England have an exclusive provider of open access charge point services, which possesses a potential risk when awarding cash from a new £950 million rapid charging fund. The fund aims to future-proof electric capacity at motorways and major A-road service areas to support the phase-out of petrol and diesel cars and vans. You are now up to date with the latest EV industry news for this week. Every Friday, I'm keeping you in the know, so make sure you like and subscribe to our podcast. And if you would like to feature on our podcast, then please do get in touch. Go to ev-comply.com, click on pods and blogs and register your interest. And you never know, I might be talking with you. From everybody here at EV Comply, you have a fantastic weekend. 